Welcome aboard Oceania Riviera. I'm Rick and this is Lifestyle and Tech. Join me as I take you on a full in-depth tour of this beautiful and amazing ship. Oceania Cruises is a cruise line based in Miami, Florida that operates seven cruise ships on worldwide itineraries with another ship to come in 2025 and another two to come in 2030. Since September 2014, Oceania Cruises has been a wholly owned subsidiary of Norwegian Cruise Line Holdings, which also owns Norwegian Cruise Line and Regent Seven Seas. Oceania Cruises was founded in 2002. Today we are on Oceania Riviera. She was built in 2012 and fully refurbished 2022. She is a beautiful ship. Around 785 feet long, 66,172 gross tons. She carries around 1,250 passengers maximum and also a crew complement of approximately 800. The ship is visually stunning. Since the refurbishment in 2022, the ship is just absolutely beautiful inside. The design is incredible, she feels sleek, she feels modern, she feels contemporary, but she also feels warm and comforting and homely, which is probably quite hard to achieve when trying to combine those two things. The moment you enter on deck 5 into the main atrium, You'll be blown away by the grand staircase. It's simply stunning with its glass backed lifts, beautiful balustrades, and marble floors. And as you go through the rest of the ship, you will find just as many beautiful things to look at whether it's full size stone sculptures, Murano glass, fantastic artworks on the walls outside the lifts. The whole ship is just stunning. And everywhere you go, there's something beautiful to look at. Fantastic. Deck 6. Here you'll find the Grand Dining Room, the Casino Bar and Casino, the Grand Bar, also you'll find Martinis and the Piano Bar, 
and the Founders Bar. A great place to come and relax, have a quiet drink after those hard days ashore. State rooms on board Riviera are all beautiful. The moment you walk in the door and step into your stateroom, you'll feel a sense of luxury, a sense of opulence, a sense of being home. They're beautifully furnished, high quality fittings, high quality linens. The bed is super comfortable. You're guaranteed a good night's sleep on that bed, I can tell you. It was just amazing. The bathroom, beautiful. Marble finish, tiled, beautiful big shower, it's kept immaculately clean by the twice daily maid service. You have Bulgari amenities in there which are just gorgeous to use on your skin. And of course, you also have a large flat screen TV on the wall, which has all your personal addressed account details on it, and a great menu to keep in touch with what's happening on the ship and what's happening ashore. Another good thing in your cabin or your stateroom, 
every night they'll get a co copy of the uh, Currents magazine which is awesome it's a two-page gazette type magazine tells you about what's happening that day the next day etc etc there's a lot of information in it and it was a nice touch we got a one-page flyer in ours basically with the news from home and that was a really nice touch we thought that was great our cabin well this particular cabin that you're looking at now that was actually a veranda stateroom with an extended deck and there aren't too many of these on the ship so you need to book them quick if you want one it was forward on deck seven the cabinet is actually 7007 if you want to know the actual number but we love this cabin our cruise that we did was uh, 12 days and we had no complaints whatsoever about the cabin the fittings the service the amenities anything to do with the stateroom it was immaculate twice daily maid service and they were fantastic the guys would come clean our cabin twice daily turn down the bed make sure everything was fresh clean make sure the fridge was full of your complimentary soft drinks and everything else was just done for you just awesome service it was great you'll love the staterooms on board Riviera Deck 12, probably the most popular deck on the whole ship. Well, certainly my most popular deck, and uh, there's a few reasons that go into that. One of them is to do with food. Terrace Cafe is situated on Deck 12, and we spent a heck of a lot of time in the Terrace Cafe. We'd have breakfast there, lunch, and dinner as well. Indoor outdoor venue on the stern of the ship, just a fantastic place for sail away. Sitting there with your glass of wine or your drink, some fine food, great service, awesome people around you. No better place on the ship to be than Terrace Cafe on Deck 12. Also on Deck 12 you have La Reserve, you've got the Waves Grill, you've got the pool, the pool bar, Artist Loft, you've also got the Culinary Centre. There's also concierge level veranda decks there, Oceania Suite and Vista Suite, which are forward on Deck 12, so there is some accommodation there too. But it's a fantastic deck, great place to eat, great place to spend a lot of your time and a lot of the passengers did. And of course you have the Riviera Buffet which is also housed in the Terrace Cafe inside. Fantastic buffet dining, every type of food you can imagine and plenty of it. High quality, also cooked to order so you can't go wrong. The other great thing about Riviera and the dining and the food service is it's extremely hygiene safe. You are served the food you want on the plate by the staff. So no hands on the cutlery, no hands on the plates. It all comes to you with a smile. And of course Riviera also has 24 hour room service available where you can get fabulous meals, perhaps a burger during the day, perhaps a sumptuous three course breakfast the next morning. All you have to do is either ring customer service on the phone in your stateroom 
or alternatively you can get one of the cards out of the drawer in your desk, fill it out with what you want, leave it outside your cabin that night, it will be picked up and your order will be freshly delivered the next morning. Fantastic. And of course we have the pool and the pool deck. What a great venue. Beautiful pool, not too big, not too small, just right. Jacuzzi's on each side of the pool and a huge shallow area all around the outside where you can just sit and relax with a nice cool drink, something to eat and just enjoy those hot sea days. Always plenty of lounges available, there's never a rush for them on Riviera, fantastic. And how about going up on deck for a stroll in the dark, perhaps before dinner, perhaps before a Riviera show. She looks beautiful, Riviera, when she's all lit up at night. Beautiful soft hues of blues, purples, whites and oranges. Take a stroll on deck at night and see her in a different light. She just looks great. Deck 14. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. What about Deck 13? Well, there is no Deck 13. This is a ship, so Superstition's still pretty strong on board. So, yep, straight to Deck 14. Deck 14, you've got Toscana and Polo Grill, two of the specialty restaurants. You also have Privy. We have the library. Also a boardroom, too. So if you've got any uh, work or private... Um, corporate business or anything you like going on there you can just uh, whip into the boardroom book it have your meetings do as you need to of course uh, deck 14 we also have baristas which is uh, the fresh specialist coffee venue I spend a bit of time there in the mornings I can tell you you know wonderful view out over the pool deck from baristas and I would sit there in the morning Paul I would make me my coffee and I would be sweet for the day also up on deck 14 you have the sanctuary which is a lovely little quiet area of course you've got the fitness centre, the Aquamar centre, um, the steam room, sauna and the spa terrace. So yeah, a lot going on on deck 14 and it's all good. Deck 15. Okay, we're up topside now, almost at the uh, very top of the ship. 
And here, of course, outside you've got the activities court, you've got your fitness track, uh, you can play croquet up there on the croquet court, and of course that's where they have the shuffleboard too, which is very popular. Now also on deck 15 you've got Horizons Lounge, which is uh, just a large, wonderful, comfortable venue. Well, they often have specialist meetings, um, first cruises, um, cocktail parties, the captain's cocktail parties, things like that. And also in Horizons Lounge, that's the venue for afternoon tea or high tea every day. So fantastic place to be. Great views, great food, great service. Deck 15. And last but not least, Deck 16, very much top side of the ship. And up here of course you'll find the golf putting green, paddle tennis and the driving range. So a uh, little bit of physical activity up there if you want it. The other thing I like about Deck 16 is it's just a wonderful place to get up early in the morning, watch the ship coming into port at all those amazing locations that the ship visits, get those iconic shots Get your video, get your camera out, get your cell phone out and just enjoy the moment with a wonderful view. Deck 16. Fantastic. Well that's it from Ashania Riviera and me. I hope you've enjoyed the tour and I hope you got something out of it. Don't forget to check out the channel for further in-depth videos based around the 12-day Eternal Classics cruise which we have just completed on Riviera. So check out the channel, the videos will be going up shortly. Thanks for watching, see you on the next one.